Hello, it's Frank, that one web guy again, and I'm back with another video. <clears throat> In this video, we're going to show you how to set uh, Google Captcha using WP Forms on your website. I was asked this recently and just thought it'd be a good idea to do a, a tutorial video on how to do this. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, in the demo site here, my WP tips. Um, so I'm going to go to plugins and click add new. Uh, not installed it on this site that I'm aware of. So I'm just going to go to WP forms and install it here. And we have it here. It's uh, contact form by WP forms, drag and drop builder. I'm going to click install and activate. Now, of course, we're going to um, create a form. That's probably the best thing to do. So we're going to create our first form. Um, you could also come over here and add new. What it does is it goes into its own builder type of situation. So don't be, don't panic when you don't see your WordPress settings over here. Um, you can always get back to WordPress just by clicking the X in the upper right hand corner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter your form name here. And I am just going to say contact form. That's what we're going to use it for. And I'm actually going to use a, a template that we have here. It's called create a simple contact form. And it's loading. And we have name, first name, last name, email, and comment or message, which is perfect for what I'm going to do here. I'm not going to modify it at all. If I wanted to, we could add some paragraph tags, uh, text, uh, multiple choice, uh, phone number if you chose, and you just drag that over to that field. So like if you wanted to add a phone number, um, it would pop that in there. And you can do some uh, testing and things like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that and keep it simple. And what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to click Save. And I want to look on under settings and under confirmations. Uh, actually, we need to go to setup, not settings. Setup. Mm -hmm. They've moved it since the last time I looked. So I'm going to go ahead and close because this is just form settings. We need to go to settings here. And we need to go to recapture. This is the area that we're wanting to look at. So I was confused with the settings in the form itself, but it's actually settings in the plugin. We'll click on recapture here. And it asks what kind of recapture. So I'd like to do the invisible, but I'm going to do recapture three. And if you're curious where to get the recapture, it's asking for a site key and a secret key. You'd actually go, I'm already logged into my Google account. So I'm going to go to uh, google.com forward slash recaptcha. I think that takes me to it. If not, we'll just search Google Captcha from yeah, admin cancel admin console. So if you don't have that set up, um, you can go in here and create new. I'm just going to click plus. I'm going to give it a name. My wp.tips. Going to click recaptcha type is recaptcha three. And again, I'm going to put it's going to ask for the domain. So I'm going to put um, I didn't have to put the domain up here. That just helps me decide what site it's on um, in a uh, click quick glance. Um, it's asking for an email address. Um, I can add additional email addresses if I want. Um, accept the terms and submit. And here's my site keys. Um, so I'm going to copy the site key. And then I'm going to put it over here and paste. I'm going to come back here and copy the secret key. Come back and paste. And I'm going to hit uh, save settings. Now this gives you a threshold. Um, you can put a 0 0.4. It tells you down here that um, 0, 0.0 is likely to be a bot. Um, if the score is less than that or equal to this, it takes care of the submission and, and it'll block that. So um, we can. Um, change this kind of filter that if you like if you're getting spam you can up that uh, and it'll just test that there um, this also has an option if if there's a uh, other captcha forms or processes in your plugins or themes um, this will have a compatibility check so i'm just going to click save settings and now i can go back to uh, all forms and when i go into contact form now we should have a uh, recaptcha option right here so we can actually drag this over here and it's going to be invisible for what we're doing it says google 3 uh, recaptcha has been enabled for this form 
don't forget to save your form. So that says OK. Um, it's hidden. We don't see it. It's up here. Recapture re enabled. Um, this doesn't create a field like you see in some of them. Um, in some of the other versions, like version 2, there's some things where uh, sometimes there's a checkbox or you have to click uh, fields or images and things like that. So this is the invisible one, and it just checks it based on the information submitted. Of course, you will want to um, check before you're done. You want to, there's field options. You can change those. If we go under settings, you can check your confirmations for uh, the WP forms. So where it's going to be, uh, the information is going to be sent. Notifications is where it's going to be sent to. So if you want to send it other than the admin email, um, you can turn on notifications, turn them off and that type of thing. Now this is just the free version. Um, you noticed under the paid version, the fancy fields, these are grayed out. You can get these if you pay for the paid version. So that's totally up to you. This is a really easy plugin to use, but um, this is pretty much what we need to do. Show you how to enable reCAPTCHA for using WP Forms. Now um, I did want to show you if you're wanting to uh, put this form on a page, all you should do is click the embed link and then grab this here grab this and then just post it on to any page that you're wanting to use it on. So if I had a contact page, I'm going to close this, uh, all pages. Um, yeah, I have a contact field here and I could actually just come in here and it uh, looks like we were testing a different form situation here, but I would actually just replace that one with this one here. So it says w form, WP Forms ID and I'm going to click update and it should look just like, uh, open it up in another tab, it should look just like, yep, right there, like it did in the builder. So this is my contact page, um, and you can see how that works. So I hope you found this useful, and uh, check back with another video. If there's a video you'd like to see, just hit us up at support at frankteardorf.com. Let me know what video you would like to see, and maybe I can get that added. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, click the like and subscribe, and uh, you get alert then with uh, any information, any new videos that we post. Thanks.